on something about building a bike uh, from the ground up uh, for some time now. Um, I've never done uh, a, major, a project as major as that before. I've done a lot of bike mechanics, uh, oil changes, change antifreeze, change, chains and sprockets, rebuild canopies, all that kind of thing. Uh, but I've never done a really major uh, street fighter build or anything like that. Um, but I have been thinking about it for a while and um, I've finally got around to uh, buying um, a rolling chassis, which is the beginning of my project, hopefully the beginning of my project. Um, it's uh, a 1992 uh, CBR900RR fine blade chassis. Um, I bought it off eBay. Uh, it was quite cheap. Uh, it's basically it's the chassis, the subframe, uh, the swing arm, the forks, a pair of wheels, a shock, the rear brake, and a few other bits and pieces. Um, it's basically really bare bones. Obviously, no engine, no electrics, no bodywork, nothing really. Um, so it's really just a kind of a start of the project. Uh, so the plan is. Um, to work on it over the winter and hopefully have it built by next spring. Um, so I'm currently uh, doing bits and pieces to start the project off. Um, I've stripped the chassis down, uh, I've removed the, the wheels, I've, I've taken it all apart essentially. Uh, Subframe, swing arm, forks, shock, everything's come off. So I've got it down to just the actual individual components. Um, the plan is to give them a bit clean. Um, I'm going to degrease them uh, using white spirit uh, to get them clean enough to paint and then the plan is to uh, paint the chassis in black um, so obviously I need it to be clean to do that uh, I want to have a black chassis um, the bare aluminium looks okay but it's, it's a bit kind of dated, it's a bit 1990s, so I want to make it look a bit more up to date, so I'm going to paint it in a sort of, um, either a gloss black or a matte black, I haven't really decided which, but uh, that's kind of like the first job. Um, so I'm also looking around for uh, an engine for it, um, trying to source a CBR900 double R, uh, double R engine uh, for a fine blade, either a 92 or a 93. Because I believe they go straight in. If I can't get one of those, then I'll probably try and find some other engine. Um, maybe another Honda Fireblade engine, a newer Fireblade engine, or maybe some other Honda engine. Um, or maybe even a different manufacturer of engine. Um, I've read about somebody on the internet fitting a Kawasaki uh, ZX-10R engine in the Fireblade. Um, so theoretically you can fit any kind of engine that actually physically goes in the chassis and obviously have to modify engine mounts and what have you to get it to go. So um, we'll see. We'll see what, uh, see what engine I manage to find. Um, the whole project's going to be done on a quite a tight budget. Um, I'd like about £1,500 to do it. Um, but you know what they say about bike projects, uh, double it and add some, so <laughs> it's probably going to be more expensive than that. Um, I don't know exactly what I'm going to build at this stage, uh, all I know is that it's going to be some kind of street fighter. Um, obviously I want a reasonable size engine, at least 600cc, for a kind of decent performance. And um, it should handle pretty well because the, the fire blade chassis was pretty uh, you know, a pretty good chassis in its day. Um, and then I think probably I'll make it a street fighter. I don't know, I might change my mind and I might fit fairing on it. Um, might make it kind of into a sports bike. Um, or I might have it unfaired and, and kind of do a, a street fighter uh, kind of style bike. Um, I kind of like the idea of a street fighter because it means that I can kind of show off the chassis. Um, that I painted and um, 
and also hopefully Ping Engine as well. A Ping Engine with Engine Enamel. Um, and I think that should look quite good. Um, so that's the plan. I've also uploaded to YouTube um, a slideshow which shows some pictures of the chassis as it is uh, in the, the various kind of stages of it being stripped down. Um, and the, the kind of final picture is uh, the, the individual components shows the individual components after it's been stripped out. I'll be probably uploading videos and slideshows and what have you reasonably frequently as I kind of uh, you know, go through the various stages of the project. Uh, like I say, the first thing to do is to clean the components up. So once I've cleaned them up a bit, I'll probably upload some more photos like another slideshow uh, with some kind of close-ups of the parts to kind of show, uh, you know, show the parts in more detail. Um, that will be all for me. Thanks for watching.